If it's your first time going to Coney Island, I recommend you plan your route first and prepare and research all the things that you need to know before you actually go there. We rented our bicycles at Pongo. You can get there by bus 84 from Pongo MRT. And then we travelled through the green route through Coney Island. I really recommend cycling unless you want to record your steps or something. But route B was the route that we took. So we had a shortcut from Coney Island and then we reached Lorong Halus Wetland. Okay, so Lorong Halus Wetland over there. And then we crossed the Sunrise Bridge. And then we cycled all the way back to Bongo where we turned our bicycles. We took a total of 4 hours to cycle the whole route. I DIY'd my own chest harness for my iPhone, so you can follow me as I cycle through Coney Island. <laughs> Off to a shaky start. Coney Island closes at 7pm, so we didn't want to risk it, so we went in the morning before lunch. I am now cycling through Pongo Park, and it's on a weekday, so there's not a lot of people. And it's also quite quiet and quite a ulu place, I may say. Since Coney Island is designed to be uninhabited, the only toilets are at Pongo Park itself, and at the entrance of Coney Island. It's so cute. It was my first time seeing so many dogs being walked together. I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go <laughs> you know nothing's landing on you, right? The wind is blowing all to the other side. <laughs> It was very nice having a change of environment to cycle in but I also saw a lot of people walking and it might not be such a good idea if you are tired very easily because it's a very 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 long walk. So bumpy. 
RIP the camera. So pretty! Many people were coming here with big cameras to take pictures of I would guess the butterflies and the birds and all the flora and fauna that Coney Island has to offer. And since the roads are so bumpy, maybe you could get a mountain bike instead of this Instagram pretty bicycle because it's really very bumpy and your butt will hurt a lot after the day. Because mine did. At Pongo Go Cycling, where we rented our bicycles, the price was the same for Mountain and this bicycle. So if you prefer comfort over taking nice pretty photos, maybe that. You want to go to the boardwalk? Okay. Staying on the main path seems a bit boring. So I decided to take this little trail, which leads me into this boardwalk where they showed like information teaching us about the different flora and fauna in Coney Island. Dismount and push. So, push. Okay, bad example. Even if you don't dismount, you should still sit on your bicycle and push. What is that? Clean, I think maybe. I don't know. It's the seawater. Shall we go there? You think our bikes will be lost? Oh, yeah. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Oh my god, there's so many cockroaches. Okay, it's fine. Okay, yes, so there are a lot, a lot, a lot of cockroaches, but not like the land cockroaches that flies. I think it's like sea cockroaches, I don't know whether that is a thing, but like they were scurrying away as I walk on each step. So if you're going to walk on this path, do be prepared for that so you won't be startled and like fall into the sea or something. But this path leads you nowhere because it is not possible to cross until the fence over there, like the wooden fences you see over there. Yeah, it's not possible to cross all the way to there. So I just wanted to have a closer look to see the fences, I guess. Should I try to get there? How about I just go there anyway? Go there. Okay. Look at the fishes. Yep, so we headed back and decided to go to the nearby beach instead because you can admire the same views and listen to the same water flowing sounds. Whoa, but the sand here though. Oh 
all their toilets here. <sighs> hey, this is, this is a birdie. Yeah. Oh, it's swimming! Eh? Hey. Oh my god! It's so cute! Yeah. Eh? Is this the alternate path? No, it was not, and we took a super long time trying to find our way back to Lorong Halus. Oh. Hello. Hey, the you same thing again? Finally, after like half an hour or so, we stopped to take photos, but anyways, it was quite long. We finally found a path to Lorong Halus. Wow, look at the tree. Oh, the smell! <laughs> oh. This was my favourite part of Coney Island because to get the white path and the tall trees it doesn't look like Singapore at all Fortunately, the sky was a bit cloudy so the sun wasn't roasting our backs but it was still bright enough for us to admire the scenery and enjoy the views as we cycle past. Oh, there's a hammock there. Huh. Wow. Oh, that bongo is here. I mean, Pasir Ris. Ah, uh, Lorong Halus. <gasps> birdie, birdie, birdie. Oh my god, birdie. Oh. East entrance, Coney Island Park. keeping us to this side of the road. The Lorong Horus. This is here. Oh, oh. Oh! Let's go in. We found this little hideout area that leads to a view of the water and it was very peaceful and quiet. We just sat down at the rocks over there. I mean there are places to sit here but we enjoy sitting and being closer to the water. So we had our little snacks to replenish ourselves for the journey ahead. And this is a little behind the scenes of YouTubing. Oh, it's here. Stop moving. <laughs> oh, the wind is so big.
We just cycled across that, this Coney Island. And we came back from over there somewhere. And we cycled here. Our bikes. <laughs> it looks like it's enjoying the sun. The way it moves is so cute. I had lunch at this place, which is maybe 5 to 10 minutes walk from Pongo MRT, so it's quite accessible. Okay, so I just took a quick shower and okay, a quick rinse without any soap because this store was offering some rinse shower stuff so I just took advantage of that and changed into a new set of clothes and I feel much cleaner now We came to this vegetarian restaurant with a temple and it has many 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 plants and Chinese influences and basically temple stuff The workers were out there just plucking the vegetables and talking and it seems like a very cozy environment for working This is the menu, it mainly serves Chinese food because I mean it's a temple and the prices are quite reasonable so like 350 450 all those with the price that you're getting and the quality of the food it is a steal I forgot to take a video before I started eating but this is rendang and also cucumber and paired with herbal soup and fried rolls it's made of like fake prawn and also spicy wonton After having lunch, we decided to take a walk along the HDBs and we found this rooftop garden thing with um, cycling tracks and exercise areas and this very cute playground After cycling through the hot sun for so many hours, we decided to treat ourselves with some Hagen Dazs ice cream and I normally take mango sorbet and raspberry sorbet. The sweetness of the mango and the sourness of the raspberry makes it a good pair. And that's the end of my Coney Island slash Pongo adventure. Bye bye! Come on, suit ya. Does it suit ya? Your velvet dress is slipping off. Would you stay with me?